Hey friends, Michael Warren here from Essential Guitar Lessons and let's learn how to play Ashes to Ashes on guitar by David Bowie. This is an awesome song for intermediate players to practice lots of different bar chords. Now you can play this with a capo, but I find you lose some of the chord voicings when you do that. So we'll do it without a capo. Now I'll start by showing you the chords in the song, so if you know these chords you can jump ahead to this time. Don't forget if you like this lesson to subscribe and hit the notification bell, songs and lessons uploaded weekly and it really helps me out. If you have any problems with the song, leave a comment and let me know how you go with this one. So let's get into it, let's make a start with the chords. So as usual with Bowie we've got lots of different chords, so we've got an A sharp minor, so come up to the 6th fret on the E string, the 8th fret on the A and the D and the 6th fret on the G, B and E and that's your A sharp minor. We can also play that back here so we'll be on the first fret on the A string, the third fret on the D and the G, the second fret on the B and the first fret on the E string and that's also our A sharp minor there. So we can do that in two spots. We've got a G sharp so now we're on the fourth fret on the E string the 6th fret on the A and the D, the 5th fret on the G and the 4th fret on the B and the E and that's our G sharp there. Then we have a D sharp minor. Now the way we're going to play this we're going to bar the 1st fret on the A and the D string. We're going to have the 2nd fret on the E string, the 4th fret on the B string and the 3rd fret on the G string. So you can see it's just a D minor but we've moved it forward a fret there and that's our D sharp minor. We're going to have an F minor so we have first fret on the E string, third fret on the A and the D and first fret on the G, B and E and that's our F minor. We're going to have a C sharp here so just a C sharp bar chord Again, 4th fret on the A string, 6th fret on the D, G and B, and 4th fret on the E string, and that's our C sharp. We're going to have an F sharp bar chord, so 2nd fret this time on the E string, 4th fret on the A and the D, 3rd fret on the G, 2nd fret on the B and the E, and that's our F sharp. If we just move that back one fret, we have F there. So first fret on the E string, third fret on the A and the D, second fret on the G, and first fret on the B and the E, and that's our F. We also have a D sharp, so we're coming up the neck now. Sixth fret on the A string, eighth fret on the D, G, and B, and sixth fret on the E string, and that's our D sharp. Now we also have an A sharp major this time instead of minor. So 6th fret on the E string, 8th fret on the A and the D, 7th fret on the G and 6th on the B and the E and that's our A sharp. Now we're also going to have this C sharp here but this time we're going to do that one using a C shape here. So we're going to be using this shape here as a C sharp. So we're going to have the 4th fret on the A string, 3rd fret on the D string, you'll be playing the 1st fret on the G, 2nd fret on the B and 1st fret on the E. So you can see we're just playing a C chord, we've just moved it forward one and now we're barring there and that's our C sharp using our C shape. And that's all the chords there, so there's heaps there, so go through those first, make sure you know them all and let's tackle the song now. Now for this song as well, if you just want to strum along, you can just take the chords and use a down, down, up, up, down, up pattern and that'll work as well. So just a down, down, up, up, down, up. And that's one bar and you can do that as well. So for our intro, we're going to start on the A sharp minor. We're going to do two up strokes. The first one we're going to up and then stop. Then the second one we'll do an up stroke and hold it there. Then we just go back to the G sharp and do exactly the same thing. Then we're going to our tricky D sharp minor and we're going to do the same thing again there. And then we're going to go to our second A sharp minor and do the same thing again. And that's our intro, that's guitar one. There is a second guitar as well just doing a little fill but we'll look at that in a minute. So let's just run through that. It's not too hard once you've got those chords down. Starting on the A sharp minor. And 
and that's guitar one there. So guitar two is going to be starting on the third fret on the G string and the second fret on the B string and we're going to just play two and slide back a fret and slide back up and just do that there. So. And finish on the three and the two. So we slide back, up, back and then up again there. And that's right at the start. And that's guitar two there and that's your intro. So now let's move on to the verse. So for our verse, we're going to start with one guitar. We're going to start on the G sharp. We're going to do an upstroke, and we can just play the bottom three strings there. So up, and then up, down, up. And we do that two times. So up, up, down, up, 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 down, up. And then we do the same thing on the F minor. Up, up, down, up, 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 down, up. Then we go up to our C sharp, and we do the same thing again two times. Up, up, down, up. Down, up to our D sharp, do the same thing again. Up, up, down, up, 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 down, up. And then it changes there and two guitars kick in. So with those parts there, when we do the up, the first one, we want to stop it. So up, stop, and then up, down, up, stop. So up. We don't want to let them ring out. We don't want them. They're just stabs, so very staccato playing there. So let's run through that first part of the verse. This is just guitar one. To F minor. C sharp. D sharp. Now the first guitar goes back to the F sharp, but this time we're playing on the two and the four. So we're just doing upstrokes again and stopping them. So one, two, three, Four, one, two, three, four. So that's our F sharp, and we continue that pattern there. So C sharp, same thing, but just two times. One, two, three, four. Back to F minor, same thing again. One, two, three, four. F sharp, do it two times, just or two lots this time. So one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Up to G sharp, same thing again, but just two times. One, two, three, four. Then we're going to go to this C shaped F, so it's going to be similar to our C sharp that we did back here at the start. So we'll be playing the eighth fret on the A string, the seventh fret on the D string. You'll be barring the fifth fret, so fifth fret on the G string, sixth fret on the B string, and fifth fret on the E string and just do that two times with the upstrokes again. So let me play guitar one for you, then we'll have a look at guitar two, just two different parts there, starting on the G sharp. F minor. C sharp. D sharp. C sharp, F minor, F sharp, G sharp, and now F. And that's guitar one, so now let's have a look at what guitar two's doing. It's doing the same chords, it's just doing them a little bit differently there, so let's jump into that. So guitar two is going to come in on our F sharp, and we're just going to do a down, up, down, and we we'll do that twice, so. And again. Then go to your C sharp and just do that once, down, up, down. Then F minor, down, up, down. Our F sharp and do that two times. And again, to our G sharp, do it once. And then up to our F, the same as we did before, our C shape. And we're going to finish on the A sharp here because it goes over into the pre chorus. So down, down there. That's not too hard, let's run through that quickly, starting on the F sharp. To our C sharp, F minor, F sharp, and again, G sharp, our F, and our A sharp. And that's guitar two there, and that's our verse. So now let's jump into our pre-chorus. So now let's tackle the pre-chorus. Now there's no real guitar in this part, it's more keys, but we can throw it in there. We're gonna start with our A sharp and just do upstrokes again, so. 
back to L. F, same thing again. To our G sharp. To our D sharp. And then from there we're going to our F sharp. We're going to arpeggio pick this starting on our E string. So just E, B, G, D, and do that again. Then we're going to go to our C sharp with our C shape. So again, E, B, G, D, just do it once this time, and then our F minor, just do that once again. E, B, G, D. So let me do that little part for you, that's pretty easy. To our C sharp, to our F minor. And that's a guitar there for the pre chorus. Now let's have a look at the chorus as well. So for our chorus, there's going to be two guitar parts again. The first guitar is going to be doing exactly the same as our pre-chorus, starting on the F sharp and just picking our E, B, G, D. Then go to G sharp, do the same thing. C sharp, same thing. Go to our A sharp minor. And then back to our F sharp. And then just finish on G sharp, just play the E string there. So that's guitar one, let's play that quickly, not too hard. A C sharp, A sharp minor, F sharp, and now G sharp there. Now guitar two is going to be playing exactly the same chords, but we're going to do a bit of a strum here. We're going to have F sharp, down, down, up, and that's all we do for each chord. So down, down, up, the G sharp, down, down, up, C sharp, same. A sharp minor same, F sharp the same, and then just one strum on the G sharp. So that's guitar two, that's pretty easy again, let's do that now. That's your chorus there, and then from there we go back into the intro, so let's have a look at that now. That's going to change a little bit from our first intro. So our next intro is going to be a little bit different. We're going to start like we did with guitar two in the intro. Third fret on the G, second fret on the B, slide back, up, back, and up. Then go to the G sharp and just do an up, down. Let it slide back. Now this next sliding one's going to be a little bit different. We'll play the third fret on the G string, the fourth fret on the B string and do the same thing, slide back a fret, up, back and up. And then we just go to our A sharp minor and a down up. And that's our next intro there, or the next part after the chorus we should say. So let's play that again, nothing too hard. So then after that we go back to our verse, back to our pre-chorus and we do that exactly the same. And then our second chorus we just have the one guitar doing the arpeggio picking so we're going to do that exactly the same on the F sharp for one bar, the G sharp for one bar, C sharp for one bar, A sharp minor for one bar, the F sharp for one bar and the G sharp for one bar. So each time we're just picking the E, B, G and D strings. Let's do that now, starting on the F sharp. G sharp. C sharp. A sharp minor. F sharp. And our G sharp. And that's our second chorus there, that's just one guitar. Now let's move on from there. So for our outro, we're just playing A sharp minor, G sharp, and then to D sharp minor. He's putting a slide in as well, and he's changing it where he's putting it. So let's start with that. We're going to start on the A sharp minor. We're just going to play that and slide down. Then go to the G sharp, just to down up. And then we're going to do our slide thing like we did in our second intro. So third fret on the G string, fourth fret on the B string, slide back one fret, up, back, and up. Now go to the low, A sharp minor, do the same thing, down up. Our slide again, so exactly the same. Now our D sharp minor, 
here. So our D minor shape, move it forward and bar, just down up. Our A sharp minor again, down up. G sharp minor, down up. And then our slide there. A sharp minor. G sharp minor. D sharp minor there. Our slide. G sharp. D sharp minor again, all just down up on each chord. Our A sharp minor. Our slide again. Our D sharp minor. And now we're just going to repeat A sharp minor, G, and D sharp minor till the end. G sharp. D sharp minor. Back to our A sharp minor. And it just keeps doing that until it fades out there. So let me play that last part for you. It's not too hard once you can do those chords. Till the end, A minor, G, D sharp minor, sorry, A sharp minor, G sharp, D sharp minor. And that's all the parts to the song there. So lots of chords, but we're not doing a lot of strumming there, so it's not too hard. You've got enough time to get to each chord. So thanks for watching, and I hope you enjoyed this lesson. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell, and I'll see you soon.